Hey yo, it's your boy, Chips Ahoy, back again with another video, a um, more tutorial video on how to play music through your microphone in mainly VR chat is my use case for it, but you can have it for other games as well. So, um, it's just going to be a little update video because somebody um, commented on the last one about what if they were um, using an Oculus headset and streaming streaming via virtual uh, desktop streamer um, to play their PC VR games with their Quest because they don't use a link cable. Um, I think it's the same way anyway but I'm just gonna go through the whole tutorial again just because um, and make it a little more clear as well. So first of all what you are going to need is to download um, three things. I'll have everything linked in the description um, well, actually four things, but I'll have everything in the description. So, first you're going to need um, the cable input, audio input from VB Audio. And then you're also going to need um, one of these of your choice from Voice Meter. Um, I would suggest Banana if you're not really um, comfortable with going in depth into um, configuring your microphone settings and whatnot. But um, as a base standard, I would really only suggest Banana. And if you want to like really get finicky with um, your microphone settings and whatnot, then I would suggest use Potato Then, because that's what I'm using right now. I mean, once you have it all downloaded, you have to restart your PC. And then after you're done restarting your PC, then this is um, for if you chat just to show what you're playing like media and whatnot i'll link the config file that i'm using um in the description you do not need to download this obviously if you don't want it this is just for vr chat of course but i thought i might mention it because you know i've been using it and um this is what it looks like you have to have these four settings on for it to work for my config um you can do your own as well you can go on your discord as well and look for configs other people use or whatever right but this is the one I'm using. Um, I'll export the config and um, put it in the description for you guys to download if you want it. Um, and then all you have to do is just import it, find where, where you downloaded it. I don't think I have it here anymore. Yeah, it's right here. But you just, you know, import it then. And then it'll it'll be done. And then just make sure that those four things are ticked and make sure these boxes are ticked as well. Now every time you want, um, like I see when you open up your VR chat and you want to use this, uh, to show what you're playing with media or whatever you have to open it every time um, I think there's a way to start it up automatically but I, I don't know how the hell to do that but I pin mine to the task force as either so I don't gotta go looking for it but yeah um, now to the actual um, you know music to your microphone or whatever so scene sense um, if I'm I'm almost 99% sure that all you would have to do is just add an extra um, input for it'll it'll say something about like Oculus or something, your Oculus headset for this one. So let's say you have two two separate microphones. You got like your desktop microphone, so you have it right here, and then you have your um, the headset one. So then you can actually use your microphone then. But yeah, and then I also found this thing right here in the comment section. It says, um, uh, I have the screenshot right here actually, so it's easier to look. He said um, that you, you know, if you're um, doing this connected to virtual desktop, make sure um, to do it in, in, to do this the same, which is what I'm going to be showing you, but instead all you would have to do is change these settings. Um, hardware input 1 um, should be that microphone virtual desktop audio, and then speakers virtual desktop audio. So you would need to have... Um, you can have two basically, so let's say you have your normal headsets for your PC here, um, which I, I won't even put, bother putting on, but you would have to do that for the headset to work because it's going through different inputs. I, I don't know how to explain it. Also, look in this video in the description as well, the one that I found. Um, but for the basic stuff, you have two uh, system trays, so it's easier for you to access it when you need to like fix something or change something and then run on um, Windows Startup so you don't gotta find it and open every time that you want to run it right um, so for me in my case 
here's my microphone I have it selected and then I did all my uh, stuff to it this is to hear yourself and this is like monitoring basically and then this is for other people to hear it obviously so you gotta have that on no matter what and then now uh, since we download the cable input make sure that you have a input here for this this is for people to hear music that you're playing through your browser or whatever uh, make sure A and B went on so you can hear and other people can hear it right whatever and then go to the Microsoft Store and download Ear Trumpet. Um, I find this to be the easiest thing to um, use for changing audio input stuff. So I already have it set, but it would be on your default, so whatever the speaker. So basically, whatever you want people to hear, let's say it's your browser, you want people to hear your browser for your music. Um, all you gotta do is just right click and then put it on cable. And then when you don't want people to, you know, hear your music, whatever, then you just go to speaker. Simple as that. And now if you have, it, like, for Spotify, it's the same. So basically any input that you want people to hear. It doesn't just have to be for music, whatever. It could be for anything, really. But that's the main use for it, really, right? Um, yeah, and then again, there should be a thing for, like, your um, Oculus headset here. So that's what you would be selecting. So you can have your microphone still so people can hear it then. And yeah, um, if you're not using your Oculus headset and you're just using your normal like um, desktop microphone, so you know, Discord call or something like that, then I would make sure that the chat is disabled. So B1, so other people cannot hear it. Like double input, like, you know, so it's kind of weird like that, right? But yeah, um, again, I'll link that video in the description. Um, it'll go over it a little more in detail than it would make probably more sense than me rambling on about it. But yeah, that that's about it, really. Um, but yeah, it's been your boy Chips Ahoy, um, and until the next one, adios.